recording in progress. I'm using Zoom. Good morning, grace and peace to you all from our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, Central California, where it is raining this morning. Um, that's really odd for late July, and it's really odd for California at all, Central California anyway. Um, and first of all, my apologies to for last week's video. Um, thank you to the uh, few of you that watched it all the way through to the end. <laughs> In some cases, twice. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, always good for channel analytics. Um, and to the, my apologies to the gentleman who who watched, waiting for something to happen, and nothing ever did. <laughs> Bruh, what can I say? Um, Anyway, sorry about that. There just was no good content last week. Um, next week's content will be a little bit better. This week's content is going to be barely better than the test pattern. So I apologize in advance because I'm going to talk about ticketing systems. So what's what's a ticketing system? For those of you, many of you do, do know what that what I'm talking about. Some of you don't. Ticketing system is how we track our work, uh, not just for network admins, but for the entire IT department. Um, you know, somebody's mouse breaks, they need a new mouse, or they're having trouble with a computer program or, you know, something. So they'll call the help desk or your service desk or whatever they call it. And they'll, the help desk will put it, if they can't help them, they'll put in a ticket and send it to whoever can help the person. So uh, help desk tickets, what we call it here. Some places call them service orders, work orders, service requests. Um, Lots, lots of different ways to refer to them. It's all the same thing. If somebody has a problem and they need help. And uh, we've generated some paperwork to, to track the progress of that solution. And uh, that also comes in handy so you can search old help desk tickets to see what you know people did to fix problems in the past. So uh, they are actually handy. So much as I hate them, uh, they're a necessary part of life. Um, and there's several different help desk systems out there, or ticketing systems, I should say. Um, in my career, I have used uh, software called Remedy. I have used uh, Service Desk by Computer Associates. I have used uh, TrackIt. TrackIt's kind of nice. It's really lightweight, web-based, really cool. I like TrackIt. That's um, what we were using here. Just before we implemented our current system, which is Ivanti Heat. So we use Heat now. And I'm gonna give you a little demo because I have a ticket to put in. Um, we had a network issue this morning where several switches went down. Um, it's where Intermapper, uh, my network monitoring system kind of proved its, uh, its worth. So what I'm gonna do is share my screen so you can see stuff. So let's do this. And let's just do the whole screen here. There we go. Hopefully you can see my screen now. So what was going on earlier today is over in here. Let me zoom in so you can see this real good. So over in here on what we call our tower, the so fourth floor, this whole set of switches went offline. So. I got three switches down. Where should I start looking? I should start looking right here on this guy. That's the switch I need to look at. Because most likely he's affecting what's going on to these switches downstream. So I went up there and found out, you know, they were doing power tests today. I knew that. I went up there and found out that um, the UPS that it was connected to wouldn't power back up, bad battery. So uh, yes, we really need to get a program to do scheduled replacements of the batteries, duly noted. Somebody's already pointed that out. Um, we need money for that. Uh, but so we just, right now it's just brake fix. As we fix them as they break. So anyway, UPS is aside. There was another UPS that was there that was not in use um, and it was powered up. So I plugged this switch into that and uh, that brought everything back up. So, okay, I did it, I fixed it, the problem solved, but now we gotta track that problem. So what we use is a program, It's we call it service desk, 
but the actual name of the program is HEAT by Avanti, Avanti HEAT. I have no idea what HEAT stands for. I guess it sounds cool. I might try to blur that out. I will definitely try to blur that out. So let's get in here. Now we have several different classes of tickets. There's, well, really only a couple that I use, two that I use. Uh, one's an incident, which means something's broken and needs to be fixed. The other is a service request, which means I would like something. I would like you to do something for me. Um, we are not gonna deal with a service request today because we had an incident. So when I open up heat, normally it'll go in here into my dashboard showing that I have one active incident open with the VPN dropping. We've talked about that. Um, and then a service request, which is to upgrade uh, some server software in a server that I don't support and that nobody here supports. So the vendor is gonna do it. So I'm generating this ticket to track the vendor's work. But uh, this was an incident this morning because something broke. So we're gonna go to the incidents page here and do a new, new incident. The help desk has a bunch of templates that they use there. They get a bunch of fields to fill out here. Um, one of the things we need to know is who's the customer. This morning, I am the customer. Uh, where am I? There I am, the guy with the long Dutch name. I'm not gonna bother with my contact number because I know where to find me. I know what department I'm in and I know where this was. It was in uh, Towers fourth floor. Let's leave it at that. Summary, I'm just gonna say, because this is what the user would say, network down. What they would actually, what the users would actually say is, the internet is down. All right, so I'm gonna say, network switch on fourth floor towers is unreachable. That's the problem, that's the description of the problem. And then we would, um, as the help desk is putting this in, it, it pops up some suggestions, shows them in the knowledge base here, some things they could try. Um, most of these wouldn't help them at all. So, um, because what, what <laughs> I need to put in a, uh, an, a knowledge base item here that says switches down, check power because that's what I did. And that's the first thing they should do is check power. But normally the first thing they do is just call me and then I tell them to check power. Okay, so this is when we, we start to assign the ticket to somebody. Um, what is it? What, what does this affect? Um, in our case, this is infrastructure. If it's a server or a network issue, it's infrastructure. What's the category of problem here? Well, there's a couple of different things I could do. If I do, I mean, it was down, but if I do down, that's gonna set off a bunch of bells and whistles given our workflow here, to the workflow we have set up. So I'm not gonna say down, I'm gonna say, uh, where is it, land switch. We had a land switch issue. Um, it was urgent and the impact is a department. So you can say, is it, it's non-urgent, needs to be fixed when you can get around to it. If it's urgent, we need somebody to come over here and fix it. Patient care, financial loss, uh, that means drop everything and go take care of this, basically. This one, we'll say it was urgent because um, there are patients on this floor. They're all sleeping right now, but yeah. And it did affect an entire department. Um, single user is one person, a department would be a group of people or, or an entire department. Organization means it affects the entire hospital. Um, again, that's, we don't want that. <laughs> but, it, and, and all that, all these, these choices just affect the priority of the ticket. Um, 
if you do patient care financial loss, uh, I guess the only reason we get priority one is if it affects the organization. So there you go. We're not going to do that. Now I know. So this ticket status is active. When there's several different um, statuses we can put it in, it's active. Or we're waiting for the we've we've got the ticket. We've been working on it. We've asked the customer for more information. Um, we can put it on waiting for customer. Um, if we do that, um, the reason for that is we've got a service level agreement with these tickets. We have so long to respond to them, we have so long to fix them. Um, so when it's active, the clock is ticking. Um, if you've asked the customer a question and they aren't answering you, we don't want the clock to keep ticking. So this waiting for customer will stop the clock. Uh, waiting for third party will stop the clock. That third party could be a vendor or the customer's boss or whatever. Uh, waiting for resolution means we know what has to be done, um, but we can't fix it right this second. We might be waiting for a part or uh, waiting for a vendor to arrive to fix the problem. So that's what waiting for resolution would be. And then the last status is resolved means we fixed it. So right now we're going to leave it at active. Uh, source, you know, did somebody just stop by and talk to you? Um, some places, uh, well, chat would be they opened up a chat window. Like um, we use a pro, uh, chat client here called Tiger Text. You know, we also use Microsoft Teams. Some of you maybe use Google Chat or Slack or whatever. Um, that's what chat is. If they sent you an email, they use Teams. They use phones. It's a self-service. In my case, it is. Um, did they leave a voicemail? Or did they just walk in? Um, there was another uh, class of uh, source that we used to use at my last job called Pull Aside. Which means you were walking down the hall and somebody grabbed you and said, hey, I got a problem. Uh, we used to call those pull asides. But in my case, it was self-service. Um, there's a few other fields here. Uh, you can declare this as a master incident, which means um, there's a problem out there and multiple people are calling in on it, generating multiple tickets. What the help desk would then do is open up one ticket, declare it as the master, and then they could add in a bunch of other tickets under this one so that once this one's resolved, it resolves all the other tickets as well. So that's what that's all about. So, okay, got the new ticket set up here. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And now if I go back here and refresh, you can see now I've got a priority two ticket here where I only had one priority four. Network is down, land switch, and who, who owns the ticket? So, okay, got a ticket, need to fix it. So basically what we go out there, we do the work and uh, as we're working on it, we go through here and we, we add details in the journal. Some of it would be like a notes field or whatever. So I'm gonna add a note here saying, uh, found UPS battery dead. Moved power to new UPS. Engineering to replace faulty battery. So I already talked to engineering up there and they, they're aware and they're gonna replace it. And that whole trip up there, fix the problem, check the phones, talk to engineering, took about half an hour, 30 minutes. Summary is if you just want to summarize everything you said, there's not a whole lot of summary. This is <laughs> this in itself is a summary. So, and I'm also going to copy this and I'll tell you, I'll show you why in just a few seconds. So, there, now we go. We're going to save this note, it's going to show up here. Um, the re so I do a note and then I go through and I'll say it's resolved you have to put something in the resolution field here beyond what's just in the notes. So it's not enough just to say that it's 
fixed. You have to go into resolution field and say it's fixed. Um, you can just go into the resolution field and do this without putting in a note. But if you just put in this resolution and save it, it doesn't log how long it took. The only way you can log how much time you took working on it. And in some jobs, it's very important to log the amount of time you take here. It's not really that important. <laughs> county worker, um, paid by the hour, by the county. Um, but if you work for customers and you, you bill time, you, you have to put, you got to keep track of your time for, for billing purposes. So I just do it just to keep track of it. I used, there's jobs where I had, uh, I build customers and time, the time was very important. So it's just a habit I never got out of. I like to keep track of the time. Um, so yeah, so all right, I put that in. I kept track of my time and now it's resolved. So I'm putting in this uh, resolution and I am going to save this. Boom, save. And now it shows up as resolved up here. Well, because I said it's resolved. How do I really know it's resolved? As I come here in my queue, I refresh it, and it's gone like magic. It is just gone. So there you go. So that's uh, that's our ticketing system. I mean, there's uh, lots of other ticketing systems out there. Uh, like I said, you never know what you'll be using, but it's 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 good to have them, and they're a fact of life. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick rundown of the one we use, and uh, hope you found that mildly entertaining, mildly boring, uh, hopefully not too boring. <laughs> mildly informative is what I meant to say. Yeah, it's not boring at all. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, um, next week we're going to have a little bit better uh, content, I think. So this weekend. Uh, Satish and I are replacing the last of my C5 switches that are out in the wild, as I call it. So I'm going to document that replacement and what I did to replace it and uh, the steps we took uh, from beginning to end. So that ought to be mildly entertaining. And plus, we're going to be in a really gnarly basement doing this work. So uh, a basement so gnarly, we haven't even been able to go in there for a month because uh, there were rats, big ones. And uh, we had to wait till they were all killed. I mean, you couldn't walk without stepping on something. Anyway, rats. So that's all cleaned out. It's, it's safe for humans to work down there again. So we'll be, we'll be doing that uh, this weekend. So anyhow, that's all I got for this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell if you so desire. And um, we'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching and God bless. How do you stop this crazy thing? There it is.